Hey everyone, I'm Lulu Demon, and I'm so excited to welcome you to this talk on wheels. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the wheels on your skates. I'm gonna give you a little rundown the difference between wheels. I'm gonna show you the main difference between an outdoor wheel, an indoor wheel, a dance wheel, and a park wheel. And I'm gonna tell you my two favorite wheels right now. One of the things that I love the most about roller skates is you don't have to have like a special pair for outdoors, a special pair for indoors, a special pair for, you know, skating in the park or roller derby. That's not to say you might not want one, but the main components that you're going to change to be able to go and do those different things are gonna be your wheels. And the best part about roller skates is it's super easy to take the wheels on and off. So we're going to do a quick recap of how to take your wheels off your roller skates. If you already know this, you're awesome. If not, we're just going to do a really quick overview. So I've got my roller skates right here. And um, what we're going to do is there's a little nut right in the middle of your wheels. And you can undo that nut and then just pop those roller skates right off. So I'll grab a tool, get a skate tool. You can get these from any skate shop or from even skateboard shops. And you're just going to just undo this little nut, this little wheel nut right in here, whoop, like this. And then whoop, hey presto, my wheels pop off. So. That way I can put on my outdoor wheels, my indoor wheels, my park wheels, my derby wheels. Now, quick caveat to that is when you, if you go and you just buy wheels online, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get wheels without bearings in them. I don't have any with me right now, but basically if you were to look through these, you wouldn't see, there'd be a big hole in the middle. You wouldn't see this, um, this metal stuff that's inside. Um, so if you do pick up some new wheels, grab an extra set of bearings. Can you change bearings between wheels? Yes, you can, but it's a faff. And trust me, you don't want to have to put in bearings into your wheels before you wanna go out skating. If the sun's shining, you just wanna go out skating. So get the bearings, put them in the wheels. If you speak very, very nicely to your roller skate shop, they may even be kind enough, if they have the time, to put the bearings in for you that's my dog. It's my dog, Oscar. He's going to appear in this video, just so you know. <laughs> um, they might even be able to put the bearings in for you. So that way you're going to save yourself some time. All right. Putting it back on. Same thing. You're going to just slide that onto your wheel axle. Get your little nut. And then pop that right back on and tighten that up. If it's a little tight, just back it off a little bit. There you go. All right, let's have a look through all the different types of wheels there are out there, and then you'll get a great idea about what you're gonna be looking for in an outdoor wheel. Because there's so many things. Like, wheels are kind of like shoes. If you really like shoes, you're gonna have a wheel problem, <laughs> okay? So, let's just talk the basics. Now, the biggest thing that's gonna make the the difference for an outdoor wheel versus an indoor wheel is hardness, okay? So right here, this is a dance wheel. And if I press on it, even if I just like press my little like nail into it, I'm gonna feel it's actually really hard, okay? So I can't even really kind of push my nail into it. Um, and I can just feel just pressing on it that this is a, this is a hard wheel, okay? Compared to this one, which is a super outdoor wheel, which you can even see, just like look at it, it looks like gummy. It looks like, ah, it looks like I wanna eat it, okay? And same thing, if I like, if I press my little fingernails in there, there's gonna be some give, okay? So this is when people talk about hardnesses of wheels, it's literally the hardness. And you can, you can like test, I mean, you, can, you literally can have a little chew if you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend that doing that in a skate shop, but yeah, whatever works for you. Um, so, that's the kind of like the the reason between they call these like hard and soft wheels the technical term of this is going to be if you look at a wheel and you look at its a rating 
And a lot of the wheels you'll find actually have the A rating like written right on the wheel. Um, and the lower the number, the softer it's gonna be. So these wheels right here, these are um, the Moxie gummy wheels. These are really fun, great outdoor wheels. And they are a 78A. Compared to my Fame wheels right here, which are an artistic wheel, which don't have the A rating on it, but I know they're hard. But then these ones, these are the Moxie trick wheels and these are meant for, um, these are meant for like wooden ramps. So they're meant to go pretty fast, which means they have to be fairly hard. And these are a 97A, okay? So why would you want a soft wheel versus a hard wheel for outdoors? Firstly, let me tell you a story. I learned this the hard way. So I can be kind of lazy with my wheels. I just want to go out and skate. I want to be like screwing around with like changing wheels and having to do crazy things. So I had my derby wheels on my skates and we were going for an outdoor skate. We, I live in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and we have this awesome seawall that goes all the way around Stanley Park. It's beautiful. It goes by the ocean. It's about at least an hour of like good hard skating on like kind of bumpy asphalt. And I have my derby wheels on. They probably look like these. They're pretty hard wheels. Um, they're meant for skating indoors and for going really fast. Um, and I just left them on my skates and thought they'd be totally fine. About 20 minutes into my skate, <laughs> my feet were completely numb. And it was because when you got a hard wheel, you're gonna feel every like, every bump in the sidewalk. You're gonna feel like, all of the like g -g 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 vibrations as you skate. And it actually like, it makes your feet feel kind of like, like they're, like they're itchy. Like it's like, it's like a buzzing. It's like a buzzing in your feet. And eventually your feet go numb because they're like, what is going on here? This is not comfortable. Um, so having been the person who's pretty lazy about their wheels, I learned the hard way that you really do want something with a little bit of give when you skate outside, otherwise, your feet are gonna be super sad. So you don't have to have something like super, super soft, but you do want something that has just like a little bit of kind of flexibility to it. Kind of like it's, I guess it would be like, kind of like the shock absorbers in your car, right? If your shock absorbers, there's no shock absorbing happening in your car, you're gonna feel like everything. But if you have just even a little bit, it's going to cushion it some more. And the softer you go, you know, like if you're in a like big off-road vehicle, then it's really going to like, it's gonna smooth out those like, those bumps in the road. So these right here are all, oh wait, all outdoor wheels. I've got one more, <laughs> this one. And these guys right here, these are all outdoor wheels, but they are all quite different. So I'll pull this one off here again to show you what it is. So these wheels right here that I've got on my skates right now are the fun days. Um, and I'll tell you why I like them. Okay. So we'll put our indoor wheels over here. We've got Derby, we've got a hard dance wheel. And we've got these kind of like wooden ramp trick wheels right here. So those are all my indoor wheels over here, my hard indoor wheels, okay? And these are all my fun, I've got my like little pick and mix here of all of my outdoor wheels. Now, right off the bat, you can probably see that they're all slightly different sizes. From little. So first off, we're gonna look at height, okay? So. When you're starting out, I wouldn't say height's gonna make a huge difference to you, but what you'll see is, um, and height, I guess I mean like diameter. So you can see like this wheel is, is wider, it's, it's larger than this wheel right here. So the main difference that's gonna make is a wheel that's bigger is going to give you more speed. So it's going to be, you're gonna be able to go faster with less effort. So it's kind of like, this is like someone with long legs versus someone with short legs me. So someone with short legs is going to have to like take many more steps to be able to go the same uh, distance with uh, more effort than someone who's got long legs who can just, you know, stride along. Okay. So this only really makes a difference if you're doing like long distances. So that's when you're really notice it. Okay. So number one, it's going to be like the size of the wheels. So um, 
Second thing to kind of look at is the width of the wheels, okay? So if I look at this one right here and I compare it to this one right here, you can see that this wheel is actually wider than this wheel, okay? Same thing with this one. This is like, look at that. Look at the width on that. These guys are really old, but they're still <laughs> big and chunky, okay? Now, wide wheels is gonna give you more surface area. It's gonna give you a little bit more stability, not too much, but what it will give you is if you have a narrow wheel, narrower wheel, that's a hard one. Say that really fast, narrow, narrow, narrow. <laughs> um, if you have a narrow wheel, you're gonna be able to do more agility things. So again, depends what you're doing outside. If you're just going for like a super good hard skate, you wanna go fast, you wanna get some distance, you're gonna get big, chunky, wide wheels because they're just gonna be like awesome. But if you like to skate outside and maybe you like to do, like you need to like to stop somewhere and you like to do some dance tricks, then these big chunkies are not gonna be as great for doing all your downtowns and your zeros and all that fun stuff, all your spins, that fun stuff, okay? So if you like to do a bit of that, you're gonna look for something with a little bit of a narrower profile, okay? So we'll look at it like this way and this way, okay? The other thing that is different about these wheels is weight. So again, you've got these big, beautiful, chunky wheels that are gonna make you go super fast and you're not gonna feel the bumps on the pavement, but they're definitely heavier than my little wheels right here. So A, it's just gonna make your legs even stronger and even more badass, but you might want something a little bit lighter. You know, if, you're, if your skates are feeling really heavy, the wheels can often be a big part of that, okay? So you can do that, like if you have a skate shop and um, you know, if you wanna go look at wheels and you don't have a roller skate store in your, neighborhood, go find a skateboard store and just ask to look at the different wheels and just look at the sizes. Like hopefully maybe they have like some longboard wheels as well as some skateboard wheels. And you can just see like the different sizes. You can, you can ask to hold them and see the difference in weight. And you can really like get a feel of like what a wheel can be. So let's talk about my favorite wheels right now. Now, I just wanna say first off, I am not a gear snob. I have seen incredible roller skaters doing crazy amazing things in some of like the worst care in the world, both skates, both wheels, both anything like that. I am a true believer that it is much more about you, about how much you practice, about how dedicated you are, how, how long you go out on your practice sessions, how much you challenge yourself, how much you reward yourself when you do great and awesome things, um, than it is about having the like best gear out there. But wheels will make a difference in terms of how challenging things can be, okay? So what are my favorite wheels right now? Well. These two right now are the wheels that I've been riding the most. So this wheel right here, you can tell because they're like super worn because I've used them so much. You can't even see like the patterns that are left on there, okay? So this one right here, this is a radar energy wheel. And the reason that I love them is they are soft enough so that my feet don't go numb. I'm not feeling those crazy vibrations, but they're not so soft that they feel really like sludgy if I take them indoors. So I love these wheels because I can, they're pretty decent on a, on a like distance skate. Um, I'm not feeling like I'm really having to like huff really hard for it. But if I want to stop and like put my music on and do some spins and just like break it down, do some nice fun dancey steps, then they don't get in the way. They're nice, they've got like a nice, um, thin profile here. They've got that little bit of hardness to them that they're not so, so soft that I can like do some slides and spins on them. Um, and I've probably been riding these for like a couple of years now, probably longer than I should, but they're still doing me just fine. So that's wheel number one that I'm liking. Wheel number two, these are the Moxie Fun Days and I am new to the skate park. So I'm just learning the skate park. 
I find it super terrifying, but I kind of like the super terrifyingness, <laughs> to be honest. So um, I use my fun days in the park, uh, in the skate park, on like on the tricks, on the like, all the like different skate park elements down the ramps, into the bowls, that kind of thing. And the fun days work for me in that situation because they are not super hard. So they're not like so hard, like a trick wheel like this. So um, they don't go too fast. I wanna go too crazy fast. I'm just trying new things, people. So they don't go too fast. They have a decent amount of softness to them because our parks are all like cement and asphalt. They're not nice wooden ramps, which I wish we had, but we don't. Um, so they give a, you know, they've got a little bit of give going over the asphalt and stuff like that. But the thing I also like about them is they're small. So A, again, not getting too much crazy speed in those balls, but also they're like, they're not too big and bulky for when I'm trying things, I'm not like kind of tripping over them and they're not kind of like catching on certain things, okay? The other thing is these also are fairly decent for dance stuff as well. They've kind of got that like hardness to it and also because they're super small, um, small wheels are great for doing dance moves because they are really, really, like they don't get in your way at all. And if you look at like professional rink skaters, they have the tiniest wheels. Oh my gosh, they're so crazy. They're amazing. And I mean, the stuff that they can do on them is just like, it's like mind blowing, right? So I'm definitely not there yet. Again, working on all my dance and all that kind of stuff. But I kind of like these because they can, they can kind of go in a little bit of everywhere. And you may have recognized by now that again, I kind of said I was a little lazy with my wheels. So both of the wheels that are my favorites right now are my favorites because they're multi-purpose. So A, I don't have to change them so often. B, I don't have to buy new wheels all the time, okay? So these wheels I would say are what are called a hybrid wheel. Hybrid wheels are great because of that exact thing. Thank you so much for spending this time learning about wheels with me. This has been super fun. Um, I hope that you learned some things. I hope that you can now take your wheels on and off your roller skates. Um, I really hope my story of my feet going numb while skating outside can show you the difference between an indoor wheel and an outdoor wheel. Um, I know that you've probably seen my dog Oscar running around, so you've met him. <laughs> and um, most of all, I just want you to recognize that um, when you're starting out on your roller skating journey, there's so much to learn. So just take a little piece every day, learn something new. Don't go out and spend a bazillion dollars on your roller skates, although I know everyone tells you to do that. Don't, you don't have to, okay? Find something that works for you. Get a hybrid wheel that you can skate in different places in and out. Honestly, the more you skate, the more you'll realize the things that work for you. You know, talk to people, you know, like if you've got a friend that roller skates or, you know, there's loads of great online forums. Um, ask questions about wheels. People are so happy to share their favorite wheel. And here's the other thing. There's always new wheels coming out. So, you know, probably the wheels that I showed you right here, you know, in a year from now, like no one's gonna be using them anymore. So find out, you know, like what's being made right now, what's a really great wheel, what's everyone loving. Um, all surfaces are completely different. So like I might tell you about my surface at the skate park that like works really well for these wheels, but your skate park could be completely different. Even though I say like cement, asphalt, they're all totally different. Everything has a different surface, wood, you know, wood with lacquer, you know, polished concrete, it's all so different. So don't get overwhelmed, start with something, see what you like, test out your friend's wheels. Um, and I just am really excited to be with you on this roller skating journey. So if you found this video useful, please hit like down below and subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to spread as much joy in roller skating as possible and show you how you can kick ass on your roller skates. If you've just started roller skating, we have a really awesome program. It's called Roller Skating 101. Um, and this program is a six week program that we do both in person at our studio here in Vancouver, and we also have replicated it into a virtual program, which means that you can do this from anywhere in the world. 
In our Roller Skating 101 program, it's really meant for beginners. And we start you from day one, making you feel safe and confident on your roller skates. Because we know that roller skating is a journey. Everyone's journey is unique. But what we want to do is empower you to feel strong, confident, and badass on your roller skates. Hopefully, we'll be rolling with you soon. Later, skaters. Oscar, seriously, what are you doing? There's nothing there. Stop it.